If I asked you, what is the most important location in a turntable system, would you have an answer? I have something that I'll propose. Um, that I feel pretty strongly about that is the single most important location by a long margin in a turntable system. And that is the pivot point of the cantilever. That's the most important point. Let me explain. Imagine this is the cantilever and it's reading the groove. Just left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, doesn't matter. This cantilever is a rigid system, the stylus, the cantilever, the joint pipe, the coil former. It's a rigid system that pivots right here at the pivot wire. That pivot is, I propose, by far the most important location in the entire turntable system. Why is it the most important? because this is the motor system and for this motor system, this cantilever, coil former, magnet, magnetic flux field that's surrounding it, for this system to be most faithful to the content of the groove, then this pivot point will remain perfectly motionless. It will not move except with the mean position of the groove itself. When the cantilever modulates back and forth, we don't want this position to respond in sympathy with the movement of the cantilever. As soon as this pivot point location of the cantilever responds in sympathy or in reaction to the action of the cantilever, it is by definition mechanical distortion and therefore electrical distortion. It becomes part of our noise floor. All of us live with this to one degree or another and don't even notice it. But as turntable systems get better and better and better, tone arms get better and better and better, what we're doing is we're chasing that this location to be closer to stillness as possible. You can think about it this way. If the stylus was placed into a non-moving groove and we say a little puff of air or blue on the head shell, what would happen? Well, we'd get a little modulation at the head shell, which would cause a repositioning of the cantilever coil former in relationship to the magnetic flux field. That would be a signal that we would pick up. So we don't want this location to be moving. We want this location to remain immeasurably still and the more we can allow it to do so, the more faithful this motor system will read the content of the groove. So how do we accomplish this? How do we get the cantilever pivot point to remain immeasurably still? Rigidity and mass. And we'll be talking much more about rigidity and mass in the coming weeks and months. These are the two most fundamental principles in mechanical transcription, as far as I'm concerned. And when I say immeasurably still, well, let's put that in perspective. If you watch my video on the microscopic world of analog, then you would have seen that the perturbations in the groove wall that we can ultimately resolve through the amplification system are measured in the single digit nanometer region. There are a million nanometers in the thickness of your credit card. So we're talking infinitesimally small size of the prize. It actually gets smaller than this still when you consider that though the stylus might be tracing a groove perturbation that let's just say is 10, 20 nanometers in um, uh, deflection, that that reduces by a factor of six or seven by the time you get to the uh, coil former because there is a six to one or seven to one lever arm there. So if the groove perturbations that we can resolve through amplification and ultimately here through speakers and mic and, and or headphones are measured in the single digit uh, or low double digit nanometer range. Now we got to talk about the high picometer range um, in terms of what the cartridge motor sees. There it is, another week of a soundbite video. Another one next week.